pause this video and give this problem a try. And when you have an answer, resume the video to check if you got the answer correct. Here we're told that water ionizes according to this equation and that the extent of ionization increases with temperature at 50 degrees Celsius to pH of water is actually 6.6 .6 instead of 7. Based on, this temperature, based on this information, which of these relationships is true regarding the pOH? Well, we should know that water is neutral, and a, neutral, a, a solution will be neutral when the concentration of H plus equals the concentration of OH minus. And to get the pH, it, we just take the negative log of the H plus. And to get the pOH, we would take the negative log of the OH minus. And since the H plus and OH minus is the same, then that means that the pH has to equal the pOH. That's true for whatever temperature of water is. So that means the answer here is going to be A. If the pH is 6.6, .6, that means the pOH is also going to equal 6.6. .6. And in this case, the pH plus the pOH is going to equal 13.2 instead of 14 because we're not at 25 degrees Celsius. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.